Hello everybody, welcome back to Padfoot TD Games. My name is Zach, I'm the voice behind the icon, and today we are back in Train Simulator 2021 once again, and we are driving the Vermonter. It has been a very long time since I've made these videos and since they came out on the channel. They actually came out on the channel April 24th, 2020. That was the first one, right? That's the first one or is that the second one? That's the first one. Uh, we're in 2020, by the way, Train Simulator 2020. So it's been over a year, and I told myself that I really wanted to continue doing these, um, and I kind of sucked at that. So we're going to try not to suck as much, and uh, we're going to just go out and really enjoy this. Now, I'm a little mad, because I feel like I'm not able to zoom out as much as I used to, because I feel like that's changed. Um, <clears throat> also, just to let you know, I have no headphones on. So, you know there's that. I can't hear the alerter. I can't hear anything. Um, so that's happening. I also don't even actually remember. Hold on. Keyboard layout. That's not keyboard. Thank you. What, 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 wait, what was that? <laughs> Headlights, wipers, emergency brake, sander, bell, horn, mm, clock, Reload assets, cars, cameras. I don't care about all the cameras. Camera, 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 camera. T. Is it T? I actually don't even know. Uh, toggle HUD is F5. That's good to know. You know, it's really weird because I honestly, I don't remember any of those. It's Q. So Q is for the AWS. That's the biggie that I need to know. And I'm going to try T. T? Yeah, T. <laughs> T coming to the rescue for that one. <laughs> All right. Let's turn on some lights. Yes. I don't need the sander on. I'm going to wait. Got a whole bunch of stations in between. Of course, we're going to start down here in New Haven. The reason we start down here in New Haven is from New Haven to New York. It turns into electric from New Haven all the way up to Canada. Um, it will be using diesel. Well, almost to Canada. Used to go to Canada. All right. That's closed. We've got our dining car. Four coach cars. <sighs> now it comes down to do I remember how off we go. Bell is ringing. So that your track should already be aligned. I'll check them which is good on my app. But it should be okay. Bell off as we continue to turn. Hope you guys are having a good day. I know that I am. I'm actually really excited to be in this game. That's for sure. I'm actually going to watch this signal sound. This is a very busy area. Green. <laughs> I was actually getting concerned. Here. Uh, Junctions here soon as well. We have a little frame drop. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day. I know that I am. There's something special about being back in an Amtrak. Um, since I don't have my ears in, uh, I am going to have to hit that every once in a while, and I'm not going to be able to hear it. So there's that. I didn't double check. Now that I'm worried that I didn't double check <laughs> on where the heck we're actually going. It knows where we're supposed to go, if that means anything. Oh dear. I just don't want to end out in the yard. I don't want to go out that way, I'm almost certain. I don't want to go out that way. It's been a while, it's actually been a while since I've been on Amtrak because, you know, the last year we didn't go to New York and then uh, COVID happened. So I haven't been since. Jesus. A wood chip truck just went by our house because they're doing logging up the road. It's doing about 50 miles an hour. 
we're on a hill. If you guys watch any of our vlogs of any sort, you know that uh, we don't have a lot of room out here. Also, if you happen to be new to the channel, since uh, YouTube seems to like to grab these, welcome. My name's Zach. Padfoot TD Games is our name. I'm the technical director of theater, and uh, I'm partially deaf, so I have a service dog with me all the time. And I know people are going to complain, so they're like, well, we see parts when she's not with you. Uh, she's with me with every moment that's not going to end up getting her in danger. All right, I got my ears back on. Turn it back up to 10, actually. How are we looking? Yeah, we looking good. Oh god, I love I love the P42 so much. It's funny cuz this game you know, the, the the graphics don't look that great, but it still stands the test of time. What is up with that? I honestly don't know. I, I love it, personally, because I love this game, but I, it, it, it is very weird. It's weird to me that it does stand up the test of time. Oh. Okay, well there. I got the HUD to go away, finally. How do I get it back? <laughs> How bizarre. Green light turned red. Seem to be right where we want to be. If that looks familiar, you will know why. I wish it was a little bit brighter every day, to be honest. All right. We're gonna bring ourselves up to 50. Gradually. Just checking out in front of us. What do we got? There's cargo, more cargo train. Gonna get ourselves going here. Yeah, as I say, we should be able to. Get some. Woof! I knew it was coming. It was the not that early. Man, that guy is just cranking. There's a lot of people who don't like to travel Amtrak. I love traveling Amtrak. I also like to fly, so there's, you know, I'm an oddity, I guess, is <laughs> is the best way that I can say that. Bring ourselves up to 56, and let's get ourselves continuing on down the track. But yeah, if you happen to be new, welcome. I play simulator games. Let's check in here. Yep, so we're at the yard. <coughs> we play sim games, we play tycoon games, any game that kind of fancies us. Trains, planes, boats, automobiles, stuff like that. That's just your typical sim YouTube guy. See that bus just go like 120 <laughs> on the way by? Oh, that's too good. My favorite. Now I'm going to get a fine for using the whistle. Uh, not posted. I didn't see a whistle sign. Honestly, I didn't even see it. Of course, it doesn't. They don't render in fast enough for me to really be able to see anything. Um, but yeah, so uh, I live up in New England, and uh, I live near Bradford, Vermont, and. Monitor, which is this train that we're driving currently, has service from St. Albany all the way down to Baltimore. Uh, I travel on this train about once a year, uh, and we go down to New York to see shows. It stops in New York, Philadelphia, Baltimore, Washington, D.C. Did I say it ends in Baltimore? It actually ends in D.C. Got to get my brain right. Let's slow down. Still got speed. That'll start to figure itself out. Um, but yeah, so it's just one of those things where it, it means a lot to me. It is part of my childhood. Uh, we had done the southbound trip, and I really wanted to do the northbound trip. Uh, 
because once we get close to Springfield, I actually need to back the train in. Um, once in a while, the train will pull in and it will back out of the station. I like to actually back it in and then we'll be pulling out, heading towards Vermont. I just wish that I could connect it to a key. slower than I really needed to go. I'm so rusty from this. I've, I haven't played it since I made those videos, by the way. Because I have no interest of other places to drive this thing. So I haven't. I haven't touched it. Yeah, we still got like over a mile, so let's just let's pick it up. I know it's not going to take us long to get there. Next stop, North Haven Station. We just left North Haven. What am I talking about? No, we left New Haven. Yeah, North Haven. I know what I'm talking about. I'm driving the train. on what I want to be able to do. Besides the station, the station's on the left side. Okay. Approaching North Haven. Was to reset, anyways. All right, we disembarked from the front three cars. I could have got enough of these gun that fourth car on there, but this one's really not that bad. First stop, North Haven. Mm. God, this makes me want to travel. I know I'm worried, I'm worried about the next variant and all that kind of crap. And uh, as a teacher. I can't get sick. I mean, I can. Like, physically, I can get sick. Uh, but I really would prefer not to lose my job. I know they technically can't, but again. I don't want to risk anything. Let's head on out. To our next destination. So, in case you don't know, the Vermonter takes um, a whole bunch of stops along the East New Zealand up through uh, Vermont. And it's actually the only service that we have in Vermont. And for a pretty good chunk of uh, Massachusetts, there's a brand new one that just opened up that goes down to New Haven now from Springfield, which is where we're going. Um, so that's really cool that that's started. Uh, I don't know if it's restarted yet. The Vermonter just came back. Um, last two Fridays ago, actually. And uh, they actually had a party for in Brattleboro, Vermont. So that was really cool. I didn't go. Uh, it was interfering with me heading up to Loudoun.
but I'm really happy to see it back, and I hope that it keeps on, on thriving. I've had my own problems with the Amtrak, specifically with um, some of the conductors that have been on board. Uh, a little bit power hungry with one of them, but, you know, I don't blame Amtrak as a whole. I love Amtrak. I really do. whole thing and you just blare on the horn all the time. And one more. And then this is telling me that there's another one. Yep. for a bit. I'll set you at 20%. Let's we'll see what you do. Right. Nope. Get another one. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Hope you guys have a good day. So, I know I probably said that a whole bunch of times. I've been recording videos pretty much non-stop this morning. And it's been a day. You know, it's just been a day. Stick my head out. I am speeding. I will bring that right on down. We're just going to keep Baby in the throttle, back and forth, keeping us there. We do have our next um, stop at Wallingford. Beep. Next stop, Wallingford. Wallingford, about an hour. About a mile is what I'm attempting to say, but apparently I decided to choke on my tongue. And not be able to get that out. Really rocky rails today. Oof. Okay, we're slowly getting ourselves down where we need to be. It's a pretty dense area anyway, so like we could come flying through here, but I'd rather not. Little moped come by on the right, followed by a car. Moped, moped. Also, in case you're really confused on all the architecture and why does things not look right, well, one, it's, it's a game. Secondly, um, this is actually a classic line, so that's why everything looks old. This is actually supposed to be, I think it's supposed to, when I read it, it was supposed to be in the 50s, 60s time, if not earlier, um, and that's what this route was actually meant to be. It just happens to mean a lot to me, so I took it, and we put a modern train on the track, really is what happened. Weird. 
It opened on the other side. That's not safe. <laughs> I don't think that's safe at all. All right. Again. Um. Off we go. We do have free camera. quickly get us up because one time when I was actually doing this, we got rear-ended um, because this is a live piece and I, I sat somewhere a little too long or something like that and I got rear-ended and I was like, what happened? And that's what happened. <laughs> so uh, I learned my lesson. I'm just trying to keep this train going. So one of the other things that I've been thinking about as well um, is this game may not look the best, but it's got a lot of content. That is for sure. So I'm curious if you as the viewer would like to see more Train Simulator 2020. I have a lot, and not just Amtrak. There's a lot of stuff in this game. There's a lot of potential for this game. That is one thing that I will really say. There is a lot of stuff here, and if you guys want to see more of it, I'm up for playing it. I was actually thinking that. I sat down to record and I'm like, why haven't I played more of this game? It's because this is what my focus is on. This is why I have the game. This is actually literally the reason I bought the game. It was because I knew that I could put, I could make the Vermonter, really, come down to it. Um... So that's, I'm going to leave that one up to you. Let me know what you guys think. I'm also going to try to keep this down to one episode this time and not two. So you may see a couple cutscenes here and there as we go through. You never know. Maybe we might actually have to cut this into two. I can't make any promises. I don't like to say things that I can't keep. And we are just rocking along. Right, let's go and actually enjoy... Let's go enjoy the ride. Okay, we're actually going to be coming up on a speed change here. A little bit faster than I thought, so we actually got to get ourselves down to 20 miles an hour. And then shortly after that, we have Meriden. Now, fun fact about Meriden, and I know I said this in the last episode, but hey, if you're new, I'll share it with you now, too. Uh, Meriden, Connecticut, is where Danielle and I got on for our wedding cruise. We were getting married at a cruise that went out of New York. And uh, we said, okay, you know what, we want to train in, but you know what, let's pick up your family. So we'll pick them up in Connecticut and we'll go down uh, through Meriden and we'll head down because they're in uh, Waterbury. It's like, okay, yeah, th yep, that makes sense. That's a good one. Um, <laughs> Meriden Station was under construction first off, and my favorite part about all this story both when we drove to the train station. So we drove to the train station to get on the train, and then we got off the train and got into a vehicle. We took a limo. So we got out of Amtrak and got inside of a limo. <laughs> and we showed up in a limo. It was just, I thought it was hilarious. It's funnier in my brain when I really think about it. Um, but it was just, it, there's a lot of other things that kind of became a disaster that we put along with it, but I will remember Meriden. Uh, 
uh, for this reason. So coming up here, pulling off a train right now is, is, is special to me. Slow through here. Bing. Next stop, Meriden Station. Meriden Station is the next stop. I do kind of like the technical control of trying to keep it in 20 in here, but also to keep yourself rolling. many crossings. I do remember that about Meriden. There was like three that were all right on top of each other. Meriden Station. A lot of traffic out today, but that'd be good to help people a lot. The doors are open. Again, they open up on the right side, left side. How bizarre. I don't really know why. You know, maybe that's actually how they're modeled now I'm thinking about it, because on the way down... You know, on the way down they opened up on the right. Same all the way down, in it? Hmm. Well, either way. I don't get paid to make these decisions. Chime, little tug. Back to 20 miles an hour management we go. Let everybody know we are a train and we are coming as we continue to get ourselves up towards Springfield. Alright, ignore my little bit of speeding here. This is me just getting ready for this 79 mile an hour zone. But we finally get our get our words are hard. We finally get our, get ourselves back up to um, a good click, and we've got a, a slew of stations through here. But then we actually um, there's some pretty open area that we get to be going through soon. So that's going to be exciting as well. Stop all the traffic as we come on through. All the noise. All right, another station coming up. Actually, we're going to be doing a speed drop, too, so we can start getting ourselves down a little bit. At least we're on the right trajectory. We're actually on downhill slope, too, so I'm going to help us along. Berlin Station. Next stop, Berlin Station. journey has been going smooth so far. hope it continues to get a chance to stretch our feet really quick at Berlin and then we're going to continue up towards, we got a while to go, but we got Hartford still to go, we got uh, Hadley to go, we got, we got a couple places still to go. Half mile. Probably stop. This slowed us down a little too early. <coughs> Again, that's just me not knowing the train enough. I would love. I'm still hoping they will one day put in a Genesis P42 
into Train Sim World. They're owned by the same company. So I really would just, I'd love to see it in there. Make my day. 38, 37, 36, 35, 34. We're going to be there in time. Don't get us too creep in. Get a little bit to the station. Bell on. Probably going to open up on the left again. Nice train you're at, though. I'll stick. Here's the thing. I will stick with passenger rail any day versus cargo. You guys have preference which one you want? I need things to keep me going. I need things to keep me engaged. And passenger cargo does that for me. open on the left side once again so you know don't get whacked by this giant tin can that's coming flying through <sighs> all right let's see you guys when we're ready to leave berlin doors are closed brakes are released forgot to put it back down to 10 beforehand so remember we're in a 30 mile an hour zone so don't speed Let's get ourselves out of here. Brakes are finally fully released. Definitely was dragging brakes a little bit, but that's okay. <laughs> it's not our brakes. Actually, it is, because this would be the locomotive we'd be doing a lot, because you learn your line. Okay, bell can come off. 79 miles an hour once again as we head to the open road. Uh, in sense, open track. Hopefully it's open track. That light's green. Nah, better stay green. <laughs> I don't want to... Ah, yeah, we'll go. We'll be past that by then. All right, 36 miles left to Springfield. Let's get it. Back up to a cruising speed of 79 miles an hour. Amtrak can actually hit over 100 miles an hour when we're hooked up to electric and we're heading down towards New York. Of course, these are the old rail of old rail speeds, more or less. You know, this is um, edited a little bit. I think I, I think I added a little bit of extra. But again, it's been so long, I couldn't even remember even if I tried. But we've got a long stretch now of pretty much no crossings, no stations. Don't 100% cool all the on that way. we got a little while. Um, so we'll see you guys when we get a little bit closer. Sit back and enjoy your ride on the Vermonter northbound. So we got some speed changes up ahead. We're going to be going down to 35, then 20. As we pull through a little bit more thickly settled areas. We'll go down to 15. I remember going down to 15. Slow down a little bit more. Ooh, a little bit heavy on the brakes. It's on me. It's too busy. I accidentally hit L, so I was messing with the lights, so I had to go outside and see if they were still on. <laughs> I didn't let go. Next stop, Hartford Station. Hartford Station, next stop. See, I was right. Hartford was next. <laughs> it's a little bit different than the modern day, so it's, it's a little more hard to be behind. All right, slow down. through the streets, Hartford Station, one mile away. Can at least keep the speed up a little bit as we get ourselves closer and closer to that 20 mile an hour down. Now we're looking outside, boys. Just 
She is a beautiful train. One of these days, I'm going to take it coast to coast. I'm going to leave from Boston to go to New York, New York to Chicago, Chicago to LA. I got to fly home. That's a dream of mine, though. Whoops. Getting too stuck in La La Land. These two trains dueling. I had to make sure really quick that we weren't on the same track. We're not. But something also tells me I don't have to blare the whistle too much because uh, I think they got it covered. Gonna get me in trouble. Find the next turn. Hey, look, a Holton Hotel. <laughs> That's funny. Oh boy, coming up on to our station. Oh, I forgot I can move around in here. That didn't want that, didn't want that. Don't get mad at me. Pulling in, Hartford Station. And you have to open up on the right this time because uh, other than that, people will just fall to the depths. open on the right side. All right. All right. We're all closed up here. I'm going to get my controls back. Oh, don't do that. Legs, there's still pressure in the brake, so let that unlock. We'll start pulling ourselves forward once again. Gotta remember when we stop, put it on the 10. I don't know why I keep forgetting that. All right, we got a quick 15, and we'll be going up to 35 here shortly, and then we'll be able to get ourselves rolling once again as we head to Springfield down. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard Amtrak Vermonter. Uh, actually, the Vermonter Amtrak 55, I believe. I think it's 56 down, 55 back. Hope you enjoy your trip up the coast through Vermont on this beautiful July day. Let's get it up to 35. We're not going to clear this wall. Are we? Barely. All right. We're off. See you guys when we get a little bit closer. Next station coming up. Oh, I'm barely over. Next station's coming up. We got Wilson Station. Next stop. Next stop, Wilson Station. Still got about a mile left. pick ourselves right back up. I think Wilson Station I skipped one once and I can't remember if it was in the video that ended up out here or when I was just digging around. Put it on 
Let's see what everything uh, does. Let's see how it holds. Okay, we're four tenths of a mile. At least we're on the down. Hearing that kick in. Wilson's the one that I always, always pass. There is no slowdown. All right. Fell off. Headphones died again. So again, I'm out of uh, I'm out of power for hearing everything. So we're just gonna have to continue this journey. Again with no headphones. A little bit of a frustration, but what can you do? out of here a little bit more like a bat out of hell if I can help it because <laughs> we're on a very active line it's got a 79 mile an hour uh, that's what I'm looking for what is the word I'm looking for speed limit there we go thanks me you got me you got it all right well we're gonna be climbing ourselves back up to 79 miles an hour as we continue our journey northward Sit back in Windsor Station. Next stop. Next stop, Windsor Station. All right, didn't even get ourselves actually all the way up to 79 miles an hour. We're already going to start dropping ourselves down 245 to the stop in Windsor to get ourselves back up to 79. Love passenger travel. Stop and start. Stop and start. That's why a lot of people are like, why don't we have bullet trains in America? Well, first off, I wish we did. Um, but everybody wants it to be connected. We don't have, we have cities, but they're usually far in between, and they already have rail service. So, you know, that's, we also have mountains, and we're way bigger than most other countries. Should I give you more examples? Um, but some of the biggest things is, uh, you know, for, for it to be profitable, we need a lot of people on board. So if you're not going to be going from one city to another on a train that already exists, such as on, like, the Vermonter, we're already going 100 miles an hour. We don't need to go 200 because, guess what, we got to stop every five feet to let people on. Rant's over. I just hear people complain about that a lot because a lot of other countries have it. Let's just remember that some of our states are bigger than most countries. Yeah, see how that one kind of relates? Okay, enough to buy high horse rant. Bell, get ourselves slowed down from Windsor Station here. We didn't, it was not that long since we left our last stop. Man, words are so, so hard to me today. Why can't I not talk? Literally, my job is to talk. I talk to students every day, all day. I'm rusty, apparently. How far is from the end of the station? I'm gonna do it from the rear. Brakes, brakes. There we go. Bell off, doors open, bring this back down to 10. It'll hold it in place. Now we wait. 
again, this is what I like about passenger service. I don't want to be bulleting from one location to another. I actually like to sit back and enjoy the ride. I like the scenes. And I love this train. I don't know why. And it's interesting because when the P42 first came through, when I was younger, I actually remember it replaced the old style, the more boxy style, you know, that you're more used to. It replaced it. And I remember, even as a child, I was so upset about it. And it was weird because, you know, when you're a child, you can be upset about things, but who knew what I would have been upset about a design change? And it come later that I actually end up loving it, and I hate that they're thinking about changing it again. Um, I don't know, we, get, we get set in our ways, I guess, especially as children. I guess that'll be my excuse. All right. Rolling on from Windsor, enough bitching. <laughs> Let's continue our journey northward towards spring. Hayden Station, next stop, Hayden Station. All right, next one coming up. Again, we, can, we can't even get up to full speed. And I, I'm cruising. I am just trying to crush it as much as I possibly can. And I'm just not able to. They stopped it just so close. We're in the mile. Well, I start adding a little bit more. So, ooh, rocking, rocking, rocking. I got distracted with the rocket. more break. Run up to Hayden Station. Keep on dragging. Go down to 18. Actually, we'll, we'll drop it down to release. We'll let the residual braking that's there drag us through. And moped's coming at like 110 miles an hour. Now look at this moped that's going to be on the left. On the right, I mean. Compared to the truck. It's not as bad as it usually is, but the scaling seems to change. It just gets huge. Come in, bell on. I'm through because I can't listen to anything, so I'm forgetting everything. Again, the headphones. But I like being able to record this for you guys. Plus, I can't hear that much anyway. Block traffic because I don't care. I'm gonna drop that down to five. Oh, okay. About twelve. We'll see if anything starts to shake. If we start to slide back, then we'll change it out. But we're here at Hayden Station. We still have 16 miles to Springfield, but we're relatively close. We've been traveling for about an hour, about an hour, because we started a little late. So. Um, it's obviously not to scale. Uh, it's very clear, I asked people last time who were freaking out, it's definitely not to scale. Release brake, bell on, throttle up, give a couple toots, off we go. Northward, onward. So there's about 30 minutes left to go. <laughs> we'll see. All right. Next stop, Windsor Locks Station. Windsor Locks, next stop. Now, we almost did this once when Danielle and I were actually going to fly out for our honeymoon. We were actually going to go down to Windsor Locks, but then we would have had somebody to pick us up and bring us over to the airport. That just wasn't good. Whoa, 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 whoa. I know what happened. I know exactly what happened. A little gym worker can come to a quick stop before we get to Windsor Locks. This is going to be a routine maintenance check. Nothing to be alarmed about. I can't hear this, the, uh, what is ASW? I can't hear it.
take a second. Stick ourselves at 40 as we head into the winter lock. Anyway, that should be fine. Let's get you in the whistle. Let's get that kind of moped is. Let's get the camera face me back the right direction. Forty. We still got a quarter mile left to go. Turn on the bell early. Man, I, I forget how long this trip actually takes. By the way, Amtrak will do this a lot. There's a lot of platforms that are, like, only big enough for one door. And they'll only open up one door. So we'll open up a couple, but not a lot. Bell off T. I don't know what button I just pressed. Whoops, on that one. And we'll hold right there. Get everybody on. Double checking from here. Everything's looking good. Doors are closed. We can put this back down. Bell on. Two, two. Off we go. Gonna click cues. So it's still getting you 13 miles to go to Springfield. Next stop, Thompsonville Station. Next stop, Thompsonville Station. All right, so we've got 1.353432333 left to go. I'm I, I got some news that I wasn't expecting, and I don't know if this ever happens to you guys when you get some sort of news that you weren't expecting. All of a sudden, you're full of energy because you don't know what to do. Your brain doesn't know what to do. Well, that's kind of where my brain is right now. It doesn't know what to do. I'll go into it eventually on a, you know, a week in the life of us. It's not something we need to talk about now. It's not something I would talk about now. Because right now we're driving a monster, heading to Springfield, Massachusetts. And my health does not become involved here. All right. Half a mile left to go. Uh, bring it down. Bring it down some more. Bring it bring even more down. Like to be down here at 30 miles an hour, so let's bring that down. 0.15. Looking good, looking good. Whoop. And we'll 
uh, pull in around 27 miles an hour. Bell is on. Let's get ourselves out so I can see. I mean, technically, I stick my hat out. This works. This actually works even better. Put it on 30. Watch yourself start creeping down. That guy just phased out of my train. to a stop. Bell off, doors open. This down to like 12. Yeah. Barely fits on. <laughs> All right. Well, we are only eight miles away now. We have the Connecticut River on our left side, and I think we're going to be bringing you live the rest of the way. I think that's what I'm going to do. I my own boss when it comes to this kind of stuff. Steps still down. I can't tell. To be honest, I don't think they are anymore. Oh, well, we're in the cab now. Eh, we'll say that's enough. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Time to get ourselves pushed forward. Sorry if you just heard a weird noise on the mic. I was trying to move it out of the way, and it just whacked me in the face instead, so... Win on that. Get ourselves creeping. We are going to get ourselves back up to 79 miles an hour, but the thing is, I know we're getting close. Just we're only 8 miles away. Now, as this is making a steady climb, I'm going to actually leave here really quick. Oh God. Center player. Whee! That's been our whole entire trip, by the way. Alright, let's come on down. Singles, tubes, I should say. Okay, so this is the turn that we're going to take. I don't want to take this turn. It would be this one right here. Or this one. God damn it. There's so many friggin' splits in this thing, I can't even see which way I'm supposed to be going. I'm assuming it's this one because it's split here. And instead of that, I'm going to want us to go over here. Yep. Cross over. And then once we get here, we're going to back in through here. And I think that's a red signal. Oh no. I get myself over and over because I'm going to on this one. Do a little bit more moving around there once we get there. That is what I need to do. Check when we get a little bit closer, but that should do it. Alright, 6.7 to go. This is the train that we saw on the side in there. Turn off that bell. No, it's still center. It's not on me. It's all on me. So come on. Oh, I can just follow the blue line. What am I doing? Stay on the right side. All the way on the right side. Staying straight. So then we're here. 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 Isn't this fun? And I've lost it. We're on three because there's a train there. Third one. Straight. So we're third one in. Third one in. Straight. Mm. Yep. We're good. <sighs> Did I miss it again? God, that is aggravating. Yep. I just hit it too. I, again, I can't hear it in my ear, and I'd see it. Da, 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 da,
Taking all the realism out of my driving here. And you know what? I'm not going to remember to cut it out and act like I'm the good guy. I'm not. I forgot. My guy! back headed towards Springfield of course I'm just trying to figure out the friggin map this is a little bit different so the reason why I'm backing into Springfield is because uh, once in a while the Vermonter will do that uh, it backs in hundred percent when you go southbound sometimes northbound it will back in or it will pull in depending on track availability so I'm going with the thought that we have the availability hoping not to run into that red signal and go from there um, who knows what it's going to do. But we're back rolling. Get ourselves sounding that horn. Still watching the clock. Got our horses in 25 minutes. Can we finish up this trip in 25 minutes? I think so. I hope so. Alexa, I'm not talking to you. So it sits there and says, I think I heard my name. Nowhere in any of those words does it sound anything like that robot's name. That thing does it all the time. I'm sitting here recording videos and it'll just start talking. And I hate it. Oh, we do have another station first. No point in getting us all completely worked up before we stop at Long Meadow Station. Long Meadow Station next stop. I wish there was more to see, don't get me wrong. But it still feels like there's still some nostalgia to it, so that's pretty cool. Five miles. Five miles until we are in Springfield. Excuse me. And since we're playing this in free mode. There is no, oh, you've got to go to the station. Oh, you need to, you know, be here at this time. There's no schedule to keep um, because we're doing it in free roam. I can technically make it into a mission, um, but I really don't want to. <laughs> uh, one time, but also uh, I'll mess something up, put a lot of work into it, and be like, well, that wasn't worth any time that we put into it. Alright, we missed that station. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have a direct one for me that we have missed. This, uh, what was this? Meadow? Meadowland? A station? Uh, we will be stopping in South Springfield shortly and we'll make sure we to transfer to your station because I screwed up. <laughs> Uh, see, this was supposed to be a fun day. This is supposed to be a fun day of recording this, feeling that kind of nostalgia that I haven't felt in a long time for playing a game, because there's a couple games that became really big on the channel. This one, um, Roller Coaster Tycoon World, that was a disaster. Um, and I, I wanted to make another one, but I don't want people to feel that I'm just, like, cash grabbing, I guess, in a way. View grabbing, I guess, is a better way to put it, because obviously I'm not being paid. I'm not being paid to do this. Um, it's actually not. I want to see one if there's the same exact reaction if I was to put out another one, because it, it started conversations, gave more comments. Um, this one, I just there's, there's my own nostalgia to it, and I said that I was going to do northbound a while ago, and I just didn't have the time to do it. So here we are. <laughs> South Springfield Station. Coming up, we'll be opening up the front doors. The doors will be opening on the right side of the train. 
right side of the train, forward doors. sappy now and hopefully I remember to cut it out. I'm just worried for the future. I'm not dying. Okay, my life could be a lot worse. I am not dying. I don't have any illness that's going to kill me. Knock on wood. It's not at least that's not what we're testing for. we are testing for is and the results that we got are con concerned for me. Just because I know that we're going to do treatments and different stuff. I'm just not looking forward to it. you. Thank God we only got one more stop to go. My focus is waning. That's why. I, I'm still passionate about this game and I'm glad that I get to be able to play with you guys. Um, but my, my my brain is just slowly just turning to mush. <laughs> you know, because I've been recording videos all day and making this one for you guys too. And this one's a longer one. Um, but mostly because that news that I got, and, you know, I've been up since 6 o'clock, and it's 3.11 right now, so, on that one. I can't complain, but sitting in front of a computer this night sucks. But I am very happy to be able to get more content out to you guys, so, really, I can't complain. I can, I just shouldn't. Right. I think the next stop is going to be Springfield Station. We just got to get through a couple yards and stuff like that. Because I know it goes up to 60, but I know it doesn't last that long. Yeah. Right up there, we're going to be going back down to 20. So we're going to just keep ourselves cruising at this speed. There's no reason for me to jack it up to then drag the brakes again. It's Tuesday, right? Yeah, it's Tuesday. Springfield, New Haven, Main Line. So we're cruising on right now. We're going to be dropping down to 20 here shortly as we go through. But welcome to the town of Springfield, everybody. It don't look like this no more. There are only two rails that come through here. There's still a little bit of train yard because there is still the Springfield New Haven um, rail line, obviously, and they do have a couple more commuter rails. There's even one that goes down to Boston now. So if I plan it out right, like really right, I don't have any stuff to stay at a hotel, but I could get down to Springfield from Brattleboro and go to Boston. So again, a lot more effort than what it's actually worth. Hopefully we got all of our tracks switched properly to be able to get us here. So we're actually going to drive past the station. Okay, yeah, you got that one. And if I did miss the switch that I'm actually thinking about, that's fine. I don't care. no way for me to go through. There's no crossover. I was hoping to be on this one. 
It really isn't, is there? There's no crossover all the way down. There's no switch. And I don't want to be in the opposite lane. So that rail actually doesn't exist, so we are going to have to pull in. Yeah, I know. I figured, but I have to friggin' multitask. That's what I want to do. I just realized the bell's been on the whole time. I apologize. Just like when people are doing, like, uh, GTA RP or something, and they have their siren on all the time. We get it. You have a flashy light. <laughs> so I do I do apologize for that. We're going to be creeping down to 10 miles an hour here shortly. We're in a very busy yard. Nice trip, though. It really was. And it's cool because i got, like, a big smile on my face now. Because, you know, I'm, I'm worried about certain things. But then when I get up here and I know that I'm driving... Springfield, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm really there. I've been really there. It's, it's one of those nostalgia things. Can't really get down a ten real fast. Yeah, so usually there's two of these here. That's there. And I've come down here and we back in. We'll pull in. It's fine. Keep consistency. La I, I think I said in this last video, Last time Danielle and I actually came down through here, um, right here, there's, a, there's an abatement that's not seen uh, of brass, and <laughs> there were two people doing heroin. <laughs> yeah, they were doing heroin when we were there, so that was interesting, uh, to say the least. I got no more other comments for that than of that is that they were doing some heroin. Yep. In the middle of the day, by the way, this was not a night train. This was like, I think we get to here at know, two, maybe. So yeah. Welcome to Springfield, Massachusetts, everybody. Happy to have you here. <laughs> I'm not trying to bash on Massachusetts or Springfield for that matter, but it, it was a scene. It was a scene to be seen. Yeah, because we were driving. The train was pulling in. It was backing in. I looked out the window and I was like, I'm pretty sure those people are doing heroin. And they're like, no. And we came back through. And we pulled out of the station to head southbound. And she was like, ah, you're right. They are. She's like, should we tell somebody? I'm like, we're on train. What are we going to do? <laughs> tell the conductor. He's going to go, well, that's nice. And that's it. <laughs> Springfield Station, everybody. Springfield Station. And that will complete our journey today. As once we come up here and we get ourselves parked, and plenty of time to be able to get to the horses, plenty of time being able to finish this content for you guys. And just happy overall. Brakes. Down to 60. Turn off the bell. Does that mean that the mission can automatically end? That's good to know. If you are, I'll hide you. You can't end. Wish it was that easy. That's nice. You're gonna end it on me, aren't you? Damn it. Well, there you go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So, we did it. We didn't add or redo. We didn't do any of that. We did this a lot, but it's not programmed in there. Signal pass a danger. I don't think so. Player use emergency brakes twice. Not really. Speeding fi 15 times. Yeah. 61 miles. It's not accurate, but there you go. There you go, everybody. Um, this one was fun. If you want me to play more Train Simulator 2020, you let me know. Remember that the graphics do look like this, so don't be super surprised uh, that it might not be that great. But we got a lot more Train Sim coming your way, anyways, especially in the form of Train Sim World. But that might do it for the Vermonter, everybody. I was able to do the northbound and the southbound. And we were able to do this one in one episode. 
I'm assuming. I'm assuming I cut it down to one episode. We'll see. But with that, that's going to do it for this one, guys. If you enjoy what you saw, we do try to get a video out here on the channel every single day. And thank you guys for getting us past 650 subscribers. It really is appreciated. But with that, I thank you guys so much for coming out to this one. And we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.